today I'm David Lockwood and this is a really exciting day. We're on Pitwater. We're testing the Outer Reef 63 behind me here. It's a really serious long range liverboard coastal cruiser and passage making boat. All the boxes are ticked. Water maker, stabilizers and a range, an enormous range. Uh, yeah, at about eight knots you can do more than 2,000 nautical miles. And of course the boat really looks after the, um, the owners with some beautiful accommodation. Stay with us and check out the Outer Reef 63. Well here we are on the helm, the bridge station on the Outer Reef 63. Now there's a storm going through and some rain up here, we've got a fair bit of swell. It's got a really comfortable motion through the water, we've got stabilizers out, there's no rolling. And I'm here with Andrew Coffey, he's the agent, the local agents of Australia for Outer Reef Yachts. What have we got here by way of power, Andrew? Oh, well, David, we're running a Caterpillar C9 500 horsepower diesel. Fantastic, and with those engines, you can get a range anywhere from about 2,000 to 3,000 nautical miles. And of course, you're taking with your whole house here, it's a home away from home. Really nice cruising. Let's kick back. After casting the lines and tweaking the joystick for the 16 horsepower hydraulic bow and stern thrusters, we were ready for a sea trial of the first outer reef to sail down under. But in keeping with the passage boat market, the outer reef 63 isn't a gas guzzler. Modest Caterpillar 503 horsepower C9 electronic diesel engines with common rail injection deliver a top speed of say 15 to 17 knots. But at 10 knots you use just 42 litres per hour and at 7 knots the boat's safe working range is some 2,500 nautical miles. With the stabilisers deployed, the motion is sure footed enough to cook dinner as you cruise at sea. This is one comfortable boat. Anchored down, the saloon comes into its own on the Outer Reef 63. A long L-shaped lounge and two leather tub chairs front a large flat screen television connected to a boat's lifestyle system. There's also a wet bar, dinette or drinks table and deep picture windows. The joinery is timeless satin finished teak with bell highlights. The galley, up two steps and on the same level as the pilot house, has granite counters and a special LG appliance fit out. Accommodation on the Outer Reef 63 is forward of the pilot house and down a spiral staircase whose handrail comprises umpteen 1mm wide splinters of timber, artfully bonded together. But the aft stateroom, full beam, is even more impressive, with a king size bed and an ensuite with massive shower. Guests get to choose from the VIP cabin forward with a queen bed or a twin bunk cabin, both of which share the second bathroom. There are marble highlights and comforts wherever you turn. It's a lovely accommodation plan. Lousy weather's coming in. We're heading up the creek for lunch where they're serving local squid. The Outer Reef 63, you've seen the interior, it's a big boat. With some provisions, we could do breakfast, lunch, and dinner on board this for a week or longer. It's a real liverboard. Thanks for bringing us on board, Andrew. What a great time we've had.